Yeah, he worked well. He went 47 flat. He uh, he started off behind another filly that, that Bruce owns, and uh, he kind of tracked her. And from the eighth pole on, he kind of ran away from her, and then his gallop out was huge. You know, he galloped out all the way back around to the three-quarter pole, kind of well within himself. And uh, it was funny because when we pulled up, Colby, my little brother, was on the other one. He goes, I've never seen a horse throw dirt up that high. So that just shows you how hard, how well he worked, and he just kind of cruised along the whole way. Was he showing you like the little intangibles and signs maybe you're looking for? Yeah, it was just a it was a really sharp half, which is what we were looking for coming off of the Preakness. We had a we had a light work out there at Skylight last week, so for him to, to go out there and do that sharp half like that, that's that's kind of what we were looking for. And it, we'll have one more work next week and then go into Breeders' Cup. Talk about his Preakness, so from start to finish. His Preakness, it was a weird effort because he's normally he normally breaks sharp and puts us right into the race where. We were watching it again yesterday, and uh, he didn't break as sharp as he normally does. And then we were we were in a little bit of a jam around the first turn, but then from the half mile pole home, he was just a little even. So uh, I think it was just one of those races that we we're just gonna have to throw out, and, and you go through those races. So we'll just throw it out and kind of move forward. And we believe he's uh he's going into this race back to where we think he needs to be. But the, as far as like the foot issue that kept him out of the derby, that yeah. has nothing to do with it. No, anything. that has nothing to do with it. And you know, like Tommy and I talked after the race, you know, we went we went Bluegrass, Ellis Park Derby, and that was kind of, Ellis Park Derby was to get us to the Kentucky Derby. Well, then we went eight weeks and into the Preakness. So we just kind of got a little off schedule. So now we're, we feel like we're back on schedule and we, we kind of have him back where we need him to be. The dirt mile is a two-turn mile at Keeneland. Um, you know, talk about how that suits him. It should suit him well, you know. He's already got the win at Keeneland into the uh, in the bluegrass like that. So uh, the biggest thing is we just got to hope we draw well because with the short run to the first turn like that, if you draw outside, you're gonna have a little trouble kind of getting over and stuff like that. And then it's the short run to the to the first wire. So it's a tricky race, but if if we drew, draw good and everything else, he he's quick enough to put us in a position that uh, we should be able to work out a good trip. Yeah, first time taking on older horses, but it's it's that time of the year, you know. It's the first of November, and it's uh. Now's the time these three-year-olds step up against older horses. So we, we just have to go into it riding our own horse and uh, and just trust him. You you get up every morning looking for these kind of horses, and for him to be able to to be such a late developer and and advance as quickly as he has, you have to go into it excited about him going into Breeders' Cup. So we just have to go in there and uh, give him his best chance.